woman from Nakushnet with a heart of gold, is hoping to help foster kids make their transition into a home a little easier. NBC 10's Sam Reed shows us something good. Inside of Anacosta's Akushnet home, it's evident everywhere that family is a really big deal. 75 of us. Born in Brazil, her Portuguese family has been settled in the South Coast for quite some time. And it's safe to say over the years, she's been through a lot. I always like to give back. I come from a very poor family. About there's 10 of us. And my dad was diagnosed with cancer, died when he was, well, I was three months, and my older sister was 16. So it's been a lot for us and I just want to give back what I can. As a way of doing so, inside of her home are suitcases heading to others. Anytime I see somebody that's in need, I just want to give it up. She recently realized that leftover luggage from a clothing donation could be put to good use for foster kids in the system. When they get pulled from foster uh, from their home, sometimes they don't even have enough time to get a bag and they put everything in a black bag and carry along. Anna knows firsthand. It does make a difference. How difficult something like that may be. I have adopted a child and I also had fostered a child with guardianship. So she posted on social media about the effort, asking others to donate unwanted bags and in no time a few were claimed and others were dropped off to her doorstep. But before the DCF worker reached out to me, all the bags were given to other people that saw the post. Since then, quite a few have been rolling in. She plans to donate them too, hoping her lessons of kindness will not only resonate in those receiving the bags. It's just to give a little bit of a smile in someone's face. But her own children as well. They think it's great. I said, I mean, we're not here just to, we're here to help people. Showing you something good. Hi everyone, it's Patrice Wood from NBC10. Thanks for checking out the NBC10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across Southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.